it's written uh, to urologic surgeon, Peter Bent Brigham Hospital, so obviously he did not anticipate the merger of the hospitals. Uh, clinical professor of general urinary surgery, Harvard Medical School, on the occasion of the 100th anniversary of the founding of Peter Brent Brigham Hospital. Dear Sir, it is most probable that you are the gentleman who succeeded upon the retirement of my immediate successor. Being familiar with the history of the surgery and urology, you'll be quite cognizant of the fact that during the years 1950 to 1963, we have on this service seen the first prolonged survivals after total adrenalectomy thanks to the advent of adequate substitution therapy with cortisone acetate and deoxycortisone acetate in 1950. Some of the initial patients who had total adrenalectomy are still alive in 1963. Also, during this period, we have been very much occupied with transplantation of the kidney between identical twins, as well as the homologous transplantation of the kidney between non-identical twins, relatives, and unrelated individuals. It is my prediction that in 2013 that the specificity of individuality, sociological, philosophically, and biologically will still be sufficient problem to consume a great deal of your energies, time, and thought. It is not to be expected by us that even with your much greater knowledge and wisdom 50 years from now, and in spite of all the work that has preceded you, that the problem of antigen-antibody reaction will no longer exist and that the exchange of organs will be simply a technical surgical exercise. Even though we may be forward-thinking, we still believe that the sharing of antigens of closely related individuals will enhance the likelihood of success in transplantation of tissues and that the modifying of antibody reaction by chemical and physical means will still be necessary and require conscientious endeavor on your part for success in these ventures. We wish you the greatest success in your career in this fine institution, which has been such a happy place to me to work during the past 30 years. I'm pleased to look forward to 10 more years of active service here before joining those of that long, permanent list of retirement. Sincerely and respectfully yours, J. Hartwell Harrison, MD. And then he wrote a little uh, a PS on the back side, which made me laugh. It says, I'm sorry that this intimate note had to be typed since it was thought by all that translation, even today, of my writing would be difficult and totally impossible 50 years hence. <laughs>